reporting um, at this year's ASCO with LDK 378 is that in patients who have failed on crizotinib, meaning their cancers became resistant to crizotinib, the response rate in these patients to LDK 378 is about 60%. And of course, an additional about 20 to 30 percent more still have a response, but they just haven't met the formal criteria for um, a response by the criteria we use in, in judging responses and trials. So that means really most patients who have become presodin resistant do respond again to these, this next generation ALK inhibitor. We also report data on sort of duration of response. The duration of response is also quite is also quite impressive to these next this next generation ALK inhibitor, and in particular, the median progression free survival of patients who have failed on crizotinib and now go on to LDK three seven eight. It's about a little over eight months, uh, which is again quite impressive given that the median progression free survival that we've seen with crizotinib in patients um, is a little is about eight months as well. So. I think this is very encouraging to us that we can actually salvage the majority of patients who relapse on crizotinib with a more potent next generation ALK inhibitor. Based on the data so far, um, uh, LDK378 has received um, this breakthrough therapy designation uh, by the FDA. Um, and I think that's in recognition of how um, highly efficacious this drug is looking in the crizotinib resistant population.